welcome to the Grassy Plenty Life. This is going to be a cross stitch episode. We're going to do a cross stitch wrap up of what I've been doing in the month of March. Since it's almost the end of the month, I still have to do my knitting video as well. So the month kind of just snug up on me. Um, and my dog is unsettled at the moment. So I apologize for the little clicky clacky of the, the little nails on the plastic mat. Let's see if she gets settled down. Um, so yeah, I have a couple of things to show you. Um, again, it's been a really busy month. I've been working a lot and then also I joined some clubs to like meet people in the community. I joined a book club, which our first meeting is today. And then I also joined a knitting club, so a knitting group. So that's been really fun, getting to know more people in the community, um, getting out of my comfort zone. That's one of the things that I was talking to my therapist about that I really want to put myself out there more but it's always like effort to do that and I'm just more comfortable just being at home and being left alone <laughs> but it's not necessarily the best thing for your mental health so that whole thing is saying that the whole little rant <laughs> was saying that like I've been trying to do more things with my time so I've been really busy and really tired <laughs> it's been a really tiring month but anyway let's get into the first project so this is the stitch along that I am participating in from these 20 stitches and every month we have a um, queer artist that they feature and this was March um, this was color and cotton flamingo and I just picked it from stash there it is <laughs> I just picked it from stash this is inspired by the ceramicist Stephanie she is I believe how you say her name um, so she does a lot of she turns a lot of products that have to do with the Asian uh, experience throughout the world um, and turns them into ceramic objects. I'm not doing this justice by describing her work, but her work basically uses everyday objects that pertain to like Asian identity. Um, and most of them are related to food. So it's really fun. So this is what I have so far. So I'm really excited of how this is turning out and I'm just having fun picking out for my stash like what inspires me for that month and kind of basing it on um, Dee's inspiration or the colors that they chose for their work that I wasn't able to get a hold of those particular flosses. So I'm just kind of picking on whatever inspires me based on the artist. So that's been really fun. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, I'll kind of show you the wrap up of this. Um, show you a picture of what it looked like before. And I'll show you how much progress I've made in the month of February. Because I still had a couple days left in February. So I wanted to show you this. So that is the... I always forget the name of this. I always get it wrong. Data Portraits in Paris 1900 by um, Shaded Stitchery. So this is what I have. I'll put it on the side. This is what I have so far. So I've made a lot of progress since the last time you saw it. And you'll see the, the picture kind of comparing... The progress there yeah really happy with it so I worked on this one after I got my um, my stitch along done for the month I worked on this and so I did the same thing this month and I chose another one of my cross stitches to kind of focus on after I finished my stitch along and I should get it out of the hoop because I was actually working on this last night this is autumn garden and I can't remember the Pattern writer, pattern creator, let me get it out of the hoop. So you'll see on the screen what this looked like before. And I've made a lot of progress. I'm actually almost done with this and I'm really excited about it. So I got the house completely filled in. You can see it's a blue color. Oh, you can't really see it, but it is a different color from the roof. So the roof is kind of gray and the house is blue. If I could bring it in a little bit more. I don't think that's going to make a difference. Um, but yeah, they're different colors. <laughs> Can't really tell on the screen. And then basically all I have left is to replicate that top border on the bottom. And I will be done. So I kind of messed up on the bottom border somehow. And I don't know how. But it's staying in. <laughs> Doesn't match exactly. But that's okay. I had originally thought of making this into a... A pillow but I think I'm gonna axe that idea because well, what am I gonna do with that <laughs> where am I gonna put that where am I gonna put a pillow so I think I'm just gonna 
thrift a frame somewhere and put this in a frame and put it on the cross stitch wall back there. So this is almost done. I might be able to get this done by the end of the month, which will be exciting. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, yeah. And then I don't know what I'm, what I'm going to pick for April. I got to pick another project to focus on in April. But trust, I got plenty of projects. So that's not going to be a problem. So I got to take pictures of those so you'll see the progress um, next time. Okay. And then the last couple of things that I wanted to show you are actually finished objects. So that's exciting. I've already talked about this. I talked about this last time, how I was going to put my um, sashikos on these. It's just a canvas bag that I think my mom gave me, but she had too many of them. So she just gave me this and you can see there was like something underneath, but I covered it up with the sashiko <laughs> and then I put another one on the other side and you see it there. So I do have a, I do have, I think two more. So I'm going to have to find another canvas bag, which I probably have somewhere. And I'm basically going to do the same thing. So I could take this shopping with me and be a nice little addition to my little shopping adventures. <laughs> so I could take something that's handmade, which will be nice to be able to use this. And now it's pretty and colorful. And I think I could just throw it in the wash too. I haven't tried that yet, but we'll, we'll find out when that happens. <laughs> And then I do have another finished object. So I decided to fully finish this one, this piece. You can see here. I tried painting the frame. That didn't go well. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it like this rustic looking frame. That's I'm going to pretend like that was the intention all along. And I'm just going to go with it. So as you can see, the paint didn't really sink into the frame as I had hoped. So it kind of gives you like this rusty vibe. Um, this is... I think it's called Persian Love by Marumi Designs. And I just finished this myself. I just put it in a frame. And actually, it was too thick for the back of the frame to put up, as you see here. But um, I found these online. So I haven't figured out if they work yet. But they're just like command strips for your picture frames. And they just come like they're like little Velcro things. So I'm going to use this on the back of this. And we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Um, but this is probably going in our bedroom and it's not perfect. It's not perfect by any means. But um, yeah, it's, I think it's love in Farsi. I'm making sure I'm holding it the right way. Maybe, yes, I think I am. I think I'm holding it the right way. But yeah, so this is probably gonna go in our bedroom. And am I a fan of how it came out? I mean, I would have liked it to be like a solid color, but I think this gives it some more character. That's what I'm going with. Um, again, it's handmade, so that's what it is. Um, I think it's fine. So that'll go in my bedroom along with our Robin Hood cross stitch that I have in there. And I think that's all I have for now. Um, oh, I did want to show you this. So Amelia was cleaning out her room and she found a little cross stitch that she had made a long time ago. And she put it in a little frame. So I think I'm going to put that on the wall as well. I'll have to find a little spot for it. So I thought that was just cute little flower that we could put on the wall and I think that's it for now um again I'm not sure which project I'm going to focus on for the month of April um April is my mom's birthday month so maybe something that reminds me of her I'll have to look through that and see if there's something in there that reminds me of her that I could work on um I was close to getting this one done the one with the house done so I kind of powered through that and I'm almost done with that so I'm really excited about that there's a couple of other things that I want to finish finish um there's another one that I want to put in a hoop and there's a I bought a little cutting board for if y'all remember there was one with a little mouse and a block of cheese and I thought it'd be really cute to put on a little cutting board that I found at Ikea it was like the perfect size I've been looking for this little cutting board forever I just have to figure out how to finish it um and not have it look sloppy so yeah well I think that's it for me now um let me know if you have any patterns that you're wanting to start soon. Um, there's one that is a new release from Lindy Stitches. It's called, I think it's called Beachcomber or something like that. I'll put a picture on the screen here, but it like has all of these ocean critters and it has like, it's ocean and beach themed and that's like completely my vibe. So I think I'm going to start that one. I don't know when, maybe for my birthday, but it's in May. So 
I'm not sure if I want to start anything new in May, but maybe sometime this year I'll be able to start that one. It's kind of big too, but I really liked it. Anyway, uh, let me know what you're up to, what you're stitching on, what you're wanting to stitch on, if there's any new patterns that have caught your eye. And I will see you next month. Bye.